Hi everyone, welcome to another Binance tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to deposit money on Binance and use the money to buy crypto on your Binance app in Nigeria. Now, I know you are here to watch this video because you don't know how to deposit your money or maybe you have having problems with depositing money on Binance and using it to buy crypto. So make sure you watch this video to the end so you don't miss any vital information and make sure you follow the process in this video now before i continue if you are new to my channel welcome my name is femi olanio and i make videos on personal finance cryptocurrencies the stock market and making money online so if you love content like this please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like this video now the first thing you need to note is that in nigeria you can't deposit money with your debit card or your credit card and you can't deposit via a direct transfer from your bank app to your binance app you can't do that again because of the bankruptcy being banned on nigerian banks now the only way you can deposit money on your binance app is through p2p trading now as you can see on the home screen here you have p2p trading right here so the first thing is you tap on p2p trading and then it click on buy you can see it's already on buy and then you tap the crypto you want to buy out of all these cryptos you can see right here so let's say you want to buy usdt right here so the next thing is you will see different people that you can buy this usdt from right here so there are different people you can buy usdt from right now on the binance app and right here you see this is the first ad you are seeing the first person is samuel his username is samuel and here by the right side you see the number of trades he has completed in the last 30 days for this one it is 35 and he has 100% completion rate, which means that he has completed 100% of all the trades in the last 30 days. Now, instead of you looking for the best person to trade with and be scrolling and be looking for the person to trade with, what you need to do is just come to where you have filter here. You can see this filter icon here. Just tap on that filter icon. So right here, you enter the amount of money you want to deposit on the app. So let's say for example, it's 10,000 Naira. So you just type 10,000 Naira and then bank transfer. So you select bank, bank transfer here. And then you scroll down and then if you want to see only ads from merchant you can select that but it's not it's just optional merchants are those people that are verified on binance p2p so let's say for example i want to trade with merchant i'll just select this and then i'll click on confirm as you can see the people that i'm seeing here are the people that are verified and the people that can sell to me with the range of ten thousand naira now if you look at this first person here his username is king larry he has completed 1,071 trades in the last 30 days and he has 93.37% completion rate. So we are going to we are going to be buying crypto from this person at 574.5 naira per dollar. So the next thing is just tap on buy. So let's say for example we are buying from this person, just tap on buy. And here you enter the amount of crypto you are buying. Remember, it's 10,000 naira. So once you enter 10,000 naira there, you can scroll down to check the person's terms and conditions. Now you can see the terms here. I am always online. Pay with only your name on the account. What this person is saying that if you want to pay him, don't pay with another person's account. Pay with an account that has your name on it. So the next thing you'll be seeing here is just the summary of your transaction. You can see so you can see fiat amount is 10,000 naira. The price is 574.5 naira per dollar and then the amount of USDT you are buying is 17.40 USDT and this is the order number right here. And here the payment method is bank transfer. So once you are ready to pay, just tap on make payment right here. And once you tap on make payment, you see the person's account details. So you can see name, Samuel, Ola, Akin, Akin Lose, then bank account number, this is it right here. And the bank name is VFD Microfinance bank so what you just need to do is just go to your bank app or where any you want to transfer the money and transfer the money to this account details right here and if you want to chat with the person to make sure the person is online before you send the money you can just tap on this chat icon at the top of the screen and once you tap it you can chat with the person here you can just say or uh, maybe about to send the money and you can just say uh, maybe um, about to send the money and then what you just have to do is you just go to your bank app and next thing is just copy the bank account number here copy and then go to your bank app and transfer the money so i'll go to my bank app right now and transfer the money to this person a few moments later yeah so i just transferred the money to this account number and once you've transferred the money and you've confirmed that the money has been sent just come here and tap on transferred notify seller so once you tap on it, you'll be waiting for the seller to um, confirm the payment and then you receive your own crypto. 
now while we are waiting for the person to confirm the payment and send my crypto what i'll just tell you is that in case you send the money and maybe the person does not um, confirm the payment or give you your own crypto don't be afraid don't be scared you will get your crypto the person cannot run away with your crypto because the crypto has been locked by binance the person does not have access to the crypto so what you just have to do is just reach out to Binance Customer Care and just send them your proof of payment and once they confirm it, they will just send you your crypto immediately. So you, do that, you don't have to be scared whether the person has not replied you or the person has not um, sent you your crypto. So as you can see right now, just in less than two minutes or even one minute, the person has confirmed the payment and I have 17.4 USDT in my wallet. So the next thing is you can give the person um, a review so you can give him a positive review and then that is all just tick on done and then if i go to my p2p wallet so let me go to my p2p wallet right here don't forget your p2p is under your funding wallet so if you come to my wallet right here you can see i have 17.39 usdt in my account so let's say for example you want to use this money to maybe trade or to buy another crypto you just have to transfer it from your funding wallet to your spot wallet because you cannot use it to trade while it is under your funding wallet so to transfer it just tap on transfer right here and then you can see from funding to spot and then you select the crypto which is usdt remember it's usdt we bought and then you select max and then you click on confirm transfer and just like that you've transferred your money from your funding wallet to your spot wallet and you cannot use it to buy another crypto or to trade on binance so this is the simple way to deposit money on binance and use it to buy crypto in nigeria it is very easy to do and if you need more binance tutorial videos i have a playlist where i have different and various binance tutorial videos that can help you to use the binance app very well just check the link in the description of this video i'll put the link to that playlist there so thank you for watching this video i'll see you guys in my next video bye